My name is Kelly. At the age of six, the Church of Scientology informed my parents I was a suppressive person. I needed to be handled or disconnected. The handling lasted 10 years. The disconnection came after that. Did the Church of Scientology make my parents do this? No. They had been members for almost 20 years. The doctrine taught them everything they knew. At 16 years old, I was out on my own. Out of sight, out of mind. Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are we all doing? Good to see you. And today is a very good day. A very good day to not, on, not only not be in a cult, but a very good day to be looking to leave a cult. Um, as some of you guys know this morning, um, Aaron Smith-Levin, uh, new foundation, just got uploaded. I don't know if it was last night or this morning, but I saw it this morning. Um, and I thought today we could have a little look at the website and stuff and, and go through it and see what's all up in there. Um, if you guys are watching live or on the replay, please let me know where you're watching from and what time it is, because I love to know. I can see we've got a couple of new members popping up here. The reason I was a little bit late is because usually before my streams, I sort out my um, membership like scrolly thing that I have at the end of my videos. And I forgot to do it earlier today. So I was on Final Cut Pro, like trying to get all the new members added to it. Um, we've got like 212 members at the moment, you guys. It's absolutely crazy. So thank you everyone who has signed up for that. I know lots of people have been so generous and, and got gifted memberships too. So thank you for everyone who has done that. And if you have become a member in the last couple of days, you should see your name pop up at the end of this video. Um, let's go and just have a look in the chat quickly and see who is coming in today. Um, excited to see you all. We have got Kim Collins in Gloucestershire. Lovely. Uh, we've got our Brits in today. Did you guys watch uh, Marilyn's stream with um, Feral Cheryl earlier? They tried Marmite. It was absolutely wild. Tried a bunch of British foods. Um, if you haven't watched it, I honestly recommend go check it out because it's so funny. Uh, speaking of which, I have got the fabulous Marilyn Honig backstage in uh, my stream yard right now. So if you have any questions or comments, please just put question or comment uh, in your question or comment so she can see it easily and knows to uh, star it for me so I can pull it up and read it. Um, we also have the fabulous Nancy as a moderator in the chat today so be really really kind to her and give her some love for helping us out. Um, yeah I think that's all the all of the housekeeping things I've got to say. Um, let's see who else we've got. We have got Serenity. Hello from Washington State. Hello to you. We have got Maxine B, my first Kellycopter Live watching from the UK. Well, hello to you, Maxine. I'm glad you could join us today. Uh, coming in hot from Texas. have to say it like that. So <laughs> sorry if I butchered the accent. <laughs> we've got another one, West, West Texas. I'm, you know what? I'm going to stop doing the accent in case I actually do offend anyone. Um, awesome. And Nancy has put the link to the foundation here too. And I think what we'll do now is we'll pull it up so we can actually go through this thing and have a little look at what is there. Um, it's awesome that we've got more and more resources for people to go, uh, go and reach out to when they want to get the heck out of Scientology. And let's be honest, in the uh, days, weeks and months that come by, people and more and more people are going to want to be getting the heck out of there. So, um, it's really exciting times. Um, I know there's been some drama this week. There always is, isn't there? Let's be honest. But um, this is such good news. And I was so, so happy to see this this morning. So without any further ado, let me uh, present, share my screen here. Boom, there we have it. So we have the SPTV Foundation website. Uh, it looks really, really nice, actually. Um, some nice little graphics here. It says, we're here to empower people who want to leave Scientology and those who have already left by offering support during their transition into mainstream society and beyond. 
um, which is awesome. And I love that as their, I guess that's their mission statement to empower people. And I think the SPTV sort of thing in general does that. Um, we've seen over the past year, I guess, or even longer, how many more people have come forward and shared their stories about um, their experiences with Scientology and the numbers are just getting exponentially bigger. So it's great that there's a place that doesn't have to be the news or uh, some documentary or anything. It can just literally be on YouTube, which is a platform that is open to everyone. So I do really love that. Um, let's see what we've got here. Who are we? We are a nonprofit organization comprised primarily of former Scientologists who uniquely understand how, sorry, my camera's in the way, how hard it can be to leave Scientology after a lifetime of trauma and indoctrination. And then at the bottom of this, it says, need help? Are you a former Scientologist or current Scientologist looking to leave Scientology? We're here to help. And how can you help? So glad you asked. There are so many ways to help. Uh, whether it's donating funds or supporting our many programs. So I like the sort of simplicity of this. You know, there's nothing too crazy or fancy going on. It is very, very easy to navigate. And I do love at the bottom here, we've got every day is a great day not to be in a cult, um, which is awesome. So let's start with, I guess we'll just click into it and check it out and then we'll um go through some of your questions or comments or anything guys so do get those in if you uh want to say anything um our team our team is comprised of am i saying that right comprised i think so of former scientologists and advocates who uniquely understand the challenges of finding solid ground after leaving scientology Founded by Aaron Smith Levin in 2024, the foundation represents a diverse group of individuals affiliated with SPTV. SPTV is a community of YouTubers dedicated to raising awareness about Scientology and highlighting its nuanced experiences and abuses. Each member of SPTV brings a unique perspective and their diversity in personality and viewpoint is celebrated by their following. SPTV was created to empower ex-members, providing them with a platform to share their truths without having their stories misrepresented or taken advantage of by mainstream media and journalists with their own agenda. The SPTV Foundation adds an altruistic dimension by utilising the SPTV platforms to raise funds for its programme. Awesome. So I think that's very, very clear. Like, you know, it's clearly set up by a bunch of YouTubers. I will be honest, you guys, at the beginning, I was like, oh, should it have been like SPTV, like branded? You know, is that going to, you know, scare people a little bit because it's the SP thing, you know, like um, be if you're in Scientology and you're uh, declared an SP like it's such a bad thing and um, I can imagine people being a bit scared of that right and um, you know it's like um, uh, being called a well if any of you guys know Marilyn Honig she talks about uh, being a, a Jezebel right Jezebel's like a demon uh, she's down there waving going ah <laughs> um, but, you know it's, it's that kind of thing it's like the worst possible thing you can be so then to have a, the charity helping called SPTV I don't know at first I was like oh I don't know but because it is the YouTube platform you know people that are reaching out out to um, any of these guys have already seen what we do on YouTube you know and know that it's called SPTV so you know I've come around with that and I actually think it's, pr it's pretty cool for what we do here um, the language is seems really accessible as well which I really like um, they've not got too many complicated words in there. It's easy to read. Um, so nobody that's looking to get out is going to have to do any word clearing <laughs> to understand what is on this website, you know. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the team, shall we? We have got all of the board members down here. We've got Aaron Smith-Levin as the president, uh, Christy Gordon as the treasurer. Look, that is such a good picture of Christy as well, by the way. OMG, she looks stunning. Um, we have got Mike Brown as a secretary, Zach Morgan as a board member, Serge Del Mar as a board member, Jenna Miscavige as a board member, Liz Gale as a board member, Dylan Gill as a board member, George Lebanka as a board member, 
Natalie Webster as a board member, Sterling Tompkins as a board member, and Reese Quibble and Gay as a board member. <laughs> Sorry, I love that the dog's on that. It's so funny. So, you know, we've got a really cool, diverse team here. I think, you know, all the, is everyone a creator on this thing? Yes, every single one of these people are a creator. I think Christy's channel is on the Children of Scientology channel, as far as I'm aware. Uh, George is uh, surrounded by Scientology, if any of you guys didn't know that. Um, so yeah, all of these guys are creators. Um, they've all got sort of different viewpoints. Uh, they're not all Scientolo ex-Scientologists, I don't think. We've got Zach, who's obviously, um, you know, your lawyer friend, Zach. And we have got George, who has lived in Clearwater his whole life and has been surrounded by Scientology. So yeah, we've got a, a really cool mix of people there, which is awesome. And I think they're going to do a great job. I saw a few comments that said, why are you not on the board? And to be honest, you know, I think I, I, it's better that I'm not um, because I can kind of comment on it, you know, um, from the outside. There's no, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't ever want to seem like I'm biased to any of these things. Like, so I, I kind of like that I can just be on the outside and, and there. Uh, look at it for, for what it is. But at the moment, I'm really excited about it. I think it's really, really cool. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Uh, we have got the donate button. I know some of you guys have already done some donations today. So let's have a little uh, read through this one. Uh, why we do this. When people leave Scientology, they often find themselves without a support system due to Scientology's policy of disconnection. Individuals leaving the organization are cut off from their family, friends, and essentially everyone they have known for the vast majority of their life. Scientology has staff dedicated to monitoring those, these connections closely, even policing social media and encouraging members to report on others lest they, get too, lest they too get into trouble. Uh, because of this disconnection policy, it can be difficult for individuals to find work, housing, healing, and a community. After a lifetime of trauma and indoctrination, it often takes time to adjust to mainstream society whilst processing everything they have been through and rethinking concepts they have believed to be true their entire lives. Even many years after leaving, members are still processing the side effects. Every time I duck, by the way, you guys, it's because my camera is right in the middle of where I'm reading. Uh, <laughs> process the side effects of extreme childhood neglect, sexual abuse, lack of education, physical abuse, mental manipulation, and extreme overwork. None of this dissipates the moment they walk out the door. It takes years to process what they have been through and to learn healthy coping mechanisms. We are here to support this process and are committed for the long haul. Awesome. I'd be interested to know where they got all these graphics from as well. Um, I like that the, the uh, golden rod color is featured throughout. It's very um, easy to sort of see and understand. So yeah, I like how accessible everything is, um, you know, it, from a design's perspective as well, guys, like just like easy to read fonts. The colors are not too crazy. You know, I just, yeah, such a, uh, it's a niche thing, but I really appreciate that. Um, okay, support the SPTV Foundation. We are so grateful for our many subscribers and followers of SPTV who have gone out of their way over the years to improve the lives of individuals affected by Scientology. Words cannot describe how life-affirming it is when someone who was never involved in Scientology cares enough about those who were and does something big or small to make life a little bit easier. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To continue making a meaningful difference, we ask you to contribute to our efforts by making a donation. Your support enables us to provide crucial assistance, support programs and resources to those who need it most. Every little bit helps and your contribution can directly impact someone's journey to healing and recovery. Every little bit helps is like a, a saying for a UK supermarket over here, by the way. It's like Tesco's like every little helps. <laughs> but no, I like it. Uh, thank you for considering and actively joining us in our commitment to make a positive impact. We appreciate your support and truly value your role in our community. And then you can select if you want to do it. It's kind of fun. Um, you can choose to be anonymous or post your name and your amount and all of that stuff. So that's really, really easy and simple. So I really like, I really like that. 
Um, and then let's look at this bit, which is how to get help if you are looking to leave Scientology. Um, I'm sure there's lots of undercover, uh, Scientology, undercover, under the radar Scientologists out there that watch all of these shows. Um, so I think it's important to look at this like application so you can see kind of what um, what the process is. If you don't want to type in the thing yourself before, you know, before seeing it, you don't want to put it in your search history or whatever. We'll look at it here so you can have a look first. Um, looking for some help? We got you. Do you need help leaving Scientology? Are you an ex-Scientologist who has been slogging it out after leaving but needs the kind of helping hand and support you never got growing up? We are here for you. Please know that our goal is to help everyone. If there isn't enough to go around, we will prioritise someone who is homeless over someone who has a little more support in their lives. However, we offer many forms of support that go beyond funds and we strongly encourage people to reapply. That seems fair enough. Um, absolutely everything in the application below is kept confidential and will never be shared. We understand how hard it can be to ask for help, so please forgive the many questions. Due to Scientology's fair game tactics, we have to be a little cautious. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, and then I guess you fill in this form right on the site. So you need your first and last name, your address, your um, city and state, everything like that, your phone number, email address, uh, your employment and their contact details. And then you can fill in down here any information about, um, please describe your situation, including whether you are leaving or when you did leave. Were you Sea Org, staff or public? Are you declared and your current situation for which you are requesting aid? Seems straightforward enough. Uh, please describe the type of aid you are looking for, whether it is financial or another support program and what you intend to use any financial support for specifically. So I guess that could be like therapy um, or help with housing or uh, job searches, I guess, stuff like that is what that kind of means. Um, is there someone who can vouch for your current situation? If so, please explain and provide contact info. I guess that means like if there's anyone you um, know um, that can, you know, say, yes, they were in Scientology, you know, just to confirm who you are, basically, because I'm sure they're going to get some OSA people or or something in there trying to infiltrate, you know, <laughs> I'm sure that's probably going to happen. Um, is there anything else you would like us to know? And then you can click apply. So super duper easy, um, really liking the look of this so far and super excited to see um, what they kind of get up to. I'm going to take this off here now. Awesome. Hello. So uh, what do you guys think? That's what I want to know. I'm going to have a little scan through. Uh, Marilyn has starred some questions for me, so we will uh, read through some of them. Um, we have got Law Nerd Fan. Hello. Great board choices. Very happy to have made a donation. Would love to have see you, seen you on the board. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I think uh, being on the outside of it is, is a good thing for me. Um, also, I've never been on a board of anything, so I'm not even sure I'd be super good at that. But um, I'm glad I can still support it. You know, we don't all need to be um, on a board to to support what the charity is doing. I hope even just showing this uh, site on here and and uh, getting it more spread out uh, to my viewers will help sort of, you know, uh, help sh share what, what's going on over there. So yes, thank you, Law Nerd Fan. Uh, Jill Davidson, hello, thank you for becoming a member and thank you for including a picture of your puppy. Always makes me happy. <laughs> uh, we have got Yancy Kin, hello. A good mix of ex -Seorg ex-staff, ex-public and never ends. People who encourage and support the keyboard warriors who watch, like and subscribe, share and donate if they can. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, prevent cults, practice safe sex. I'm never going to be able to say that with a straight face. Yay, Kellycopter Live. Well, hello you. Um, hello indeed. Super Pup became a member. Thank you very much, Super Pup. Um, Calico26, hello. I'm so happy Blowdrill is on the board. Yes, me too. He is awesome. He's got um such a kind heart and so much empathy. I think he is going to be great at talking to people um that want to get out of there for sure. Uh, thank you very much. Tracy Mo Mo Murphy. Tracy Murphy. Yay! SPTV Foundation. Yeah, absolutely. Um 
we've got Martha Hornbustle coming in from Vermont. I've got another friend in Vermont, you know. She is in my backstage as we speak. <laughs> Um, we have got Anne Chatrine M. Hello, became a YouTube member. Thank you so much for becoming a propeller. We have got Happy Heathen. Hi from Russia. Hello to you in Russia. Um, we have got from a parrot, Brian Lucas. Hello, you. I went on the website and Malware Bites doesn't like it. Said it was a possible phishing site. They better get that checked out. It could be because it's a new website. I don't know how long they've had it for. Um, but when things are getting sort of, um, I don't know what the word is, but like registered into Google, um, it can sometimes take a little bit of time for that to actually sort out. But I will pass your comment on um, to Aaron and, and let him know that, uh, Brian, because that is good information to know. So thank you. Um, let's see. Gail Ward. Hi, Kelly. I'm in Northampton, South England. Well, hello to you, Gail. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, Mar Marissa? Marissa or Marissa? Uh, comment, taint a foundation. Taint? Taint a foundation I'm com comfortable supporting? I don't know what that exactly means, but I hope you are supporting all the foundations that help people leave Scientology. Thank you, Marissa. Uh, Lindy Lou Who? A pretty good board overall. I do wish there had been someone from outside the US. Yeah, that is fair enough. I mean, you know, these boards, they are um, always subject to change. And I think they've got to start somewhere, right? So um, maybe in time, there'll be some turnover. Maybe people will swap in and out. Who knows? Like, um, these things are never set in stone. So um, uh, again, I'll pass your feedback on too, as well. Um, we have got Mastiff Mum. Hello. Comment. Love the tagline at the bottom. Yes, me too. Every day is a good day not to be in a cult. Um, absolutely. Uh, not married couples. Yep, absolutely. The link works and I just donated, says BJ Critters. Thank you very much, BJ. That is awesome. Um, John Van Geest or Geest? Is it Geest or Geest? Let me know, John. Comment. Conversely, maybe it could be a good thing to start removing the stigma and the danger of leaving. Yeah, you have a good point because it is easier now, isn't it? Like there's so much support out here. Um, it isn't super duper scary, but there is uh, a risk. There is a risk of, of people being fair gamed um, and disconnection is um, is a danger. And it still it still is a danger um, for many people in there. So as much as I'd love to say, yeah, it's not that scary, don't worry. People have their families in there and the risk of not talking to them is, uh, you know, is really real. So I don't want to minimise that at all. Um, but I totally hear what you're saying. We don't want people to be in fear of leaving. Um, and I, I do hear you, John, for sure. Thank you very much. Uh, Kim McNeil, hello. Um, question, is the FP SPTV foundation a worldwide charity or just in the US? Can they help someone wanting to get out from Canada, for instance? Ooh, I'm not sure, you know. Um, that's a very good question. And I'm sure um, that we'll be able to, they'll, they'll probably do some kind of a Q&A on this stuff, right, as well. Um, I'm not on the board, you guys, so I definitely don't know that. But um, I don't know. I imagine so. We'll see. Um, we'll find that one out for sure, Kim. That's a great question, though. Thank you very much. Um, Gary Sanchez says, what happened to Joey Chait? He was on the board. Um, as far as I know, this list of board members is the list. Um, I guess people who could have been on it beforehand might have been swapped out or, you know, just not the right fit or whatever. I don't know Joey Chait. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on that one, Gary. Um, but if he's not on it anymore, I'm sure it's just because... Um, he didn't want to be on it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheryl R. Hello. And uh, your puppy is adorable. Thank you. Comment. I think the SPTV Foundation page may be more attractive to those in need if they if they stress that those helped do not have to jump on YouTube and share their story to get the help they need. Yeah, I think that's a great, great point, actually, Cheryl. There is no, and there should be no pressure to come onto YouTube and and share your story. Um, I've 
had experience with a few people now talking about their own stories with with cults and um I definitely think there is something really healing about being able to share your story when you've been forced to be silent for so long um I do think there's something really empowering about that um it's definitely not for everyone but um I think there is something really really great about that and yeah um but I completely hear you and I don't think there's a any sort of it doesn't say on this website that you have to come on YouTube in order to get help or anything um I'm sure they would not enforce that at all I don't think a charity can even can even do that to be honest um but it's a really good question Cheryl and it should be made clear you're completely right thank you um Fogene Fogene I don't know. I hope I said that right. Uh, cute puppy as well. Comment. Maybe the name is a way to neutralize the stigma of SP. If we can kind of have fun with the term name, it'll lose its negative power. Yeah, I, I'm here hearing that for sure. And it's only scary when you're inside, you know, inside Scientology, right? But it's it's even the way it sounds, isn't it? It's like SP and they had the SP hole and it's just all very... Um, I don't know. It gives me icky feelings, the the word of it, but because it's been normalized in this space, you know, I, I often comment in chats, hey, S peeps, you know, because it's just, it's nothing. It means nothing out here. Um, so yeah, I, I, I totally hear you on that one. Thank you very much. Uh, Stasia Flonasse. Whoa, what a, an amazing group. A stellar cast of bubbly personalities. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Thank you for that one. Jojo L, phone number for the foundation. Don't see a phone number on here at the moment. Um, can have another little look on it. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sort of contact uh, besides the uh, form that you fill in on the page. That might be a bit of a safer option at the moment if they're just getting it set up because of, you know, um, let's say they put the phone number on, they could get inundated with spammy calls and all kinds of stuff. Like I've mentioned before, you guys, Church of Scientology London had my phone number and I kid you not, I get like between like six and 10 spam phone calls a day, every day, <laughs> um, which is really annoying because I'm, you know, and I'm just like, well, they've obviously sold my number off to a bunch of random people or whatever they do with it. Um, is my conspiracy theory so you know I think um, this is a safe way to do it at the moment um, I'm sure there'll be a phone number uh, in time to come thank you Jojo uh, escaping the cultivus eh hey Gabrielle hope you're all right observation Ooh, that's a new one um, I noticed there are no members from different countries Scientology is all over the world and people leave from those other countries yeah you have a really good point there Gabrielle um, like I said, I hope that there's some, you know, they do some turnover and they swap people in and out. Um, we'll see what they do. Um, I'm just happy that they've got a good mix of people at the moment, um, even if they are all from the US. But it's in its uh, infancy stage at the minute. So hopefully, yeah, maybe um, maybe you should get in touch with them if maybe someone like you or like Jeff would want to be on the board and rep for Canada. Like, who knows? Um, but yeah, it's a it's a really good point. Thank you, Gabrielle. Uh, Norm Zastre, Kelly, you are always a ray of sunshine. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm glad I can be a good positive vibe for you today, sir or madame or anything in between. Uh, Ison, hello. The page is also very relaxing to the eye. Yes, I agree. Very chill colours, calm to look at, um, but not boring. You know, or too clinical and uh, corporate which is nice uh stephanie hello uh all of these board members had have had very healthy discussions and disagreements this is just incredible i know you'll be a massive support to them in your own incredible way yeah i hope i can be a good support to them um for sure i think the only thing i think is missing on the um website honestly is some videos like it's an sbtv thing so i think on this about page or even on the home page can we get back there? If a video popped up here, you know, with all of the board members and explaining what was going on, that would be super cool. Um, and uh, I definitely wouldn't mind getting involved with helping with that as well. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. We have got Christina Pepin. Hello. 
I already donate to the Aftermath down Foundation, so I'll stick with them. Doesn't matter to me which foundation it is. Yeah, that's awesome. Absolutely. Um, this video, by the way, guys, isn't a, oh my gosh, we finally have a, a somewhere to send the Scientologists. Like, no, there is the Aftermath Foundation as well, and they both do really good work. I'm just glad that there is more. That's the main thing here. We have got more. So, yeah, that is uh, absolutely fair enough, Christina. Thank you so much. Uh, Kate D, hello. So happy to see Serge Delmar on the board. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Um, he's a fantastic speaker and I think he um, represents for those for those kids that are trafficked in there so well and we need his voice in there 100%. Um, he's also super creative and an artist as well, so I think he's going to bring some really cool ideas to the table for sure. Neuropsych93, hello. Uh, question, do they have help for those who speak other languages or don't have writing skills? Um, I'm unsure of that at the moment. I'm sure they will have, um, you know, uh, outsourced, outsourced, is that how you say it? Like if you can't provide the resource, you should direct someone where they can get it, right? That's, that's what I would imagine they do, but I honestly do not know that. Um, but these are all great questions that, um, you know, I will happily put forward to the board for, for answers and um yeah we can we can definitely come back and find out this stuff this is how we make this stuff better as well you guys is by talking about it asking these kinds of questions to make it the most kind of accessible thing for people and um so that we can really make something that helps people so yeah thank you for that one neuropsych mama 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 i'm used to hearing how americans say this mama because when i'm reading it i'm reading mama and i know that's wrong <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to see you here and loving your channel. Uh, great board member choices. The form is straightforward and easy. Yes, absolutely is. Um, Keela McDonald has been a member for two months. Thank you very much. And she says, thank you for being you. Well, thank you for being you. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you so much, Keela. We've got Sasha, comment slash question. Does the site have a page to sign up to volunteer? If not, I hope they add it. So at the moment, they have got, um, did I click on that bit before? Um, so at the moment, they've got uh, donations as a way to um, sign up to help, but um, volunteering is a great idea. Um, if they do have volunteers, I really hope they have some kind of instructions for volunteers, you know, so that um, if you're reaching out to people, um, that are leaving a cult, you know, you have some kind of guidance on how to talk to them, um, which is something um, that I would really like to see so that there's some some kind of training uh, that comes with being a volunteer. Um, and I think that should be for all of the boards that exist for helping people leave Scientology. Uh, Serge Damar, hello you. My earphone's about to fall out. Oh no. Why does it always happen when Serge gets here? It's because I get too excited. Um, so <laughs> hello. Of, uh, does of C mean, of course? Kelly, the board is just the start. We are all stakeholders of this movement and there is a million and one ways we will be helping and contributing to this cause, our cause. Yes, absolutely, Serge. Um, thank you so much for being here and I cannot wait to see what um, you bring to this uh to the board, to the table. I'm ready for all your creative ideas. Uh, Melody, hello. Question, Kelly, I have been smoking for over 40 years, roll-ups. I stopped a day before you gave up the vape this weekend. How long will it take and how are you doing? Yes, yeah, so I gave up on the 9th of March, which is just a bit over two weeks ago now. Um, it it was all right, to be honest. There's a, a The first few days are a little weird because you kind of just used to doing it. Um, I've, I've vaped for a very long time, for like eight years, and I just didn't really think much of it. It was just something I did. And, um, you know, I, I didn't really think about ever stopping, but I did want to because um, I think if you're, when you're addicted to something, it causes you miser misery in ways you don't even realize. Um, and, and you kind of have to live your life a little bit to your addiction, which I think is messed up and nicotine addiction is weirdly like um normalized and social and and stuff but i don't think it should be that way um i think we give ourselves a bunch of reasons why why we want to keep doing it and they're all lies so i felt really good about stopping um i felt like you know i wasn't uh 
tied to it anymore, you know, and th there was never going to be a situation like on a plane or something where I was like, oh, I just wish I could vape. I'm not, I don't feel like that. And um, the craving part of it is all in your mind. It's all mental or it's like 1% physical, mostly mental. And um, yeah, I'm really happy about, about my decision. Um, and yeah, I hope you are happy too. Um, but yeah, I, I am going to make a video about quitting. I don't want to preach. I don't want to um, act like I know everything because I really don't. Um, I just know that I'm definitely happier for doing it. Uh, so I hope that answers your question, Melody. Thank you so much. And uh, congrats if you have if you have still stopped and have stayed stopped. Um, awesome. Chow Yun Smart. Hello. Personally, I think this is a great starting point for it. A good uh, foundation for the foundation to build upon. Yeah, absolutely, Chow, for sure. Um, you got to start somewhere. And I think um, I think we're off to a good start. So awesome. Uh, Nevada Tear or Tia. Text font seems small, would be better if it was larger. Yeah, that's fair. I wonder though, if I am... Um, I don't know if it will work on here. Does it work? No. Um, so on um on keyboards and stuff, you can actually zoom in and change the text. I don't know if it's to do with the way I've got it set up on my screen. Um, but yeah, it, it might be different on different screens. I can read it fine. Um, but yeah, could uh I don't know. I think you can I think you can zoom in on these web pages. Um, just don't seem to be able to do it on StreamYard. Uh thank you for that one, Nevada. Um Naomi Hale says they can help people worldwide, but it is a tax exempt charity in the USA. Yes, yeah, so that's to do with where it's registered then. Um, but they can um yeah, help out everyone worldwide. That's awesome. Thank you, Naomi. Um, we have got Skipper the Geriatric Chihuahua. <laughs> What the heck? Kelly, finally caught a live of you alone. <laughs> well, hiya. Thanks for joining me. And thank you for that name. Because what the heck? Um, I need to I need the rest of the story of that. Please, uh, please let me know. Uh Peggy Cole has been a member for a month. Thank you. Kelly, did you get my email about translating? Yes, I've got many emails about translating so many um and thank you everyone that has sent them in i will get back to you what my plan is is to um take my iceberg that's going to be a bit edited and added to um just so it's a bit more complete for the days we're in now add some support stuff in there too so it's like a complete thing um and i'm going to do an english transcript of it and then anyone that wants to translate into another language um i'm going to send that out to you guys so you've got that guide to work from so you don't have to like listen to it as well as you know transcribing it so that's that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with that uh, thank you so so much everyone that has has got in touch with me to to translate it's amazing you guys are incredible um if anybody does know a second language and um has the urge to to add a translation what I'm planning to do is um add um, subtitles to my Scientology iceberg series I'm going to put it into uh, one super mega long marathon video um and add in a um some subtitles in different languages so it's more accessible to people from different parts of the world i think that's something that i can do that's helpful i spent a lot of time researching that and just putting all these different bits of info together so um i think that's something that i could do that would be helpful um and yeah that's a uh, that's the plan and um it wasn't my idea a really cool subscriber got in touch with me and was like you know, um, I want to, I would love to translate this into like German to um, show to, you know, have a German channel for Scientology stuff. So um, yeah, that's kind of where the ideas come from. So um, yeah, I just think it's brilliant. And the more accessible we can make this stuff, the better. So yes, um, thank you, Peggy. Um, and if I've not replied to you, I'm so sorry, I will get back to you. I am awful at emails. I mean it, I'm really bad at it. And there's also so many of them um that I just kind of go I need to reply to that and then I, I don't reply to it but I will um and I will uh, make sure you get a English transcript to work from thank you very much Peggy Cole uh, Mastiff Mum, hello. Uh, comment, just made my first donation. Yay! So excited for this to be up and running and all the good it represents. Absolutely. Um, it's all good vibes here and I'm super, super happy about it. 
George Massey, hello. Surge is fluent in three languages. That's a good start. Absolutely. So <laughs> uh, we've got a board member who can speak a bunch of languages already, which is fantastic. Thank you for that, George. Um, Selena Fan Paris CM Bray. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I tried. Uh, wait, let me try again. Selena Fan Paris CM Sam Bray. I don't know. Uh, Italian. Maybe Italian. It's nice to see another safe place to land for those ready and wanting to get out of Scientology. Heck yes. Absolutely. Uh, Salux, hello. Question. Will there be financial transparency so that people can see how the money is being spent? I think that's standard practice of charities in general. I think you have to be transparent about where you spend money. Um, I imagine they will be. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't see why they would uh, hide that stuff to be honest so yeah um oh hell no hello comment the command to zoom in your screen is the control fl plus mouse wheel i i, I don't know that doesn't work on my keyboard i've got one of these little these little tiny apple keyboards um so yeah i think it depends what keyboard you have but yes um whoever has a keyboard that has that button you can zoom in like that. <laughs> uh, Peggy says, I noticed Aaron fixed his set. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, some people did get a bit stressed about the drama with the curtains. Look, I'm not, my thing's not even straight right now. How can I even talk? Ridiculous. Close enough. Um, yeah, his curtains were way too short and he did fix them. I, <laughs> I'm glad he did, though, to be honest. And you know what? He could take it. A lot of people thought that, um, or well, not a lot, a couple of people thought it was like some serious beef. Now, let me tell you guys, if you ever see a YouTube video that has, I've got serious beef with said person in the title, assume it's not serious beef because no one who has serious beef calls it serious beef. So that's just my thoughts on that one, okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, he's all right. We're still, we're friends. Like this, we're not, we're not, we're not, uh, enemies or anything. So for, for anyone that was, um, calling me a petty, jealous schoolgirl, um, you know, that is what it is. <laughs> um, fun and funky. Hello. Suggestion. Adding an FAQ page would be good with questions that have been asked here. 100% you are correct and I will pass this on. Um, this stuff is really great you guys and thank you for offering all your amazing um, questions and suggestions and ideas. This is the exact um, exact energy we need up in here. Uh, Keela gifted five memberships. Thank you so much Keela. You are a legend. Thank you so much for that and uh, anyone that got a membership off Keela, please thank her. Um, she is a very generous member of this channel um, and your support is super appreciated. So thank you, Keela. Uh, Big C 1979. Kelly, I'm new to your channel and was just wondering how long you've been out of Scientology. You seem to really have your SHIT together. I'm really happy for you. Hugs from Michigan. So I have been out of Scientology since I was four that is when my family left. Um, I am now 29, almost 30 this year. So yeah, I've, I've been out of Scientology almost as long as I've been in it or as long as I've been in it. So yeah, I'm at that sweet spot where I've, I'm, I've got even on both sides. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Thank you, Pixie. Uh, John Van Geest or Geest. Uh, Peggy Cole, he mentioned Kelly and Marilyn's public shaming of his drapes. Yeah, I know. Listen, like I said before, friends don't let friends go outside with their clothes on inside out. Okay. And it had to happen. And tell me it doesn't look better. It looks so much better with them longer. Um, <laughs> Keela, you are so sweet with your gifting, says Naomi. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Keela. Uh, Nacho's mom. QQQ, I guess that's a question. Do you know who prepared, created the website? I do not, you know, I have no idea. Um, like I said, I am not on this board, you guys. I've got nothing to do with it. Um, I'm sure there'll, there's going to be some uh, content coming out from Aaron or, um, or any of the board members that will be able to answer these kind of questions. So um, yeah, uh, I'm sure we will find that out soon. But it looks really good and I really like it as well. Um, 
Neuropsych, I totally agreed with the curtains. Absolutely. And Summer Savage says, Gertie is on the board. Yeah, absolutely. How funny is that, that she's in the picture? Um, for any of you who don't know Reese, I think lots of people do know who Reese is. Um, but she has her little dog come in uh, to her stream sometimes and she's always got her and she's like, did you know you were born next to Jesus? <laughs> Just very cute. So it's quite funny that she's uh, made it to the... Um, made it into the uh <laughs> the board um we have got dogs unite against scientology absolutely thank you for the super chat um i am behind but wanted to say thanks for going over this made my first donation this morning oh my gosh you guys are the best there is seriously such an amazing community here and um all of you guys that take part in these conversations um, watch all of these interviews and and really know your stuff about about this this crazy cult. Um, it's so amazing, and um, you know I I am grateful that there are so many amazing people here that will listen and get involved and take part and protest. Um, I have got some exciting news coming out soon related to that, um, but you'll have to come back on another live to see it. Um, I'm going to just have a quick scan through the end of this chat to see if there are any other questions. Um, and if not, we are going to sign off. If you have become a member in the last couple of days, you're going to see your name scroll past in a um, little credit scene that I made, um, which you can listen to one of my songs at the same time. Um, so that's how I like to end them off. Um, yeah, I think we're, oh wow, me being like, oh yeah, no, we're at the bottom. SPTV, we don't lie, we multiply. Oh, that, that's got, that's got some impotence for like a rap or a song. We'll have to let ZDK know, she'll have, she'll get her hands on it. Um, Keela says, I will be heading to donate when Kelly is finished. That's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be soon. We've got Stephanie quoting uh, Reese here. She's so tiny. Did you know you were born next to Jesus in the in manger? <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah, that's awesome. And you guys, I can see, sorry, I just saw someone said, um, I'll donate when I get a disability. If you guys do not have money for this, it's about only if you have expendable income. Do not spend any money on super chats or um, donations or anything like that if you can't afford it. Like, do not do it. Um, your well-being is important. Um, but uh, these these uh, people getting out will definitely appreciate anything that you can give. But just don't put yourself in a bad position. I've seen it um, before on here i can't remember who the the person was um somebody on one of one of marilyn's chats that said you know i gave like my last five dollars in my bank account to i think it was to i think it was to mike's found mike's cancer thingy marilyn's nodding she's like yeah that's it and this this lady gave like a last five dollars and i was just like oh it just i don't know it makes my like heart sink and i'm just like that's not right you know so, um, yeah, if you don't have it, don't do it. Um, the fact that you guys are here commenting, talking to us and getting involved, offering your amazing ideas and suggestions, that's awesome. And um, that is really, really great. So thank you all for that. Um, the link in here is uh, is there again, if any of you guys need it. I will make sure I post it in the description after this live stream ends so you can go and check it out. Um, Sovereign Brehon? Brehon. I love your Dead Agent song. It's a banger. Yeah, if you guys want to check out my shorts, you can hear me sing some little parodies and diss tracks. Uh, no one is immune from a diss track. If you <laughs> if you upset me or make Marilyn cry, you'll probably get a diss track. So uh, just uh, be careful with that. Uh, she's called ZDK. She's my alter ego, if anyone is wondering about that. Um, and George says, whip out your Rodneys and spatulas and smash the like button. Yes, please do, guys. Please like this video. Um, please leave a comment on it even after it goes live. It tells YouTube that you like what you saw and to recommend me again. Um, all right. I think have we got any more stars. No, we don't. We're good. All right. We are going to wrap it up, peeps. Are we? No, we've got another question here. I could do this all day. Carol DUK says, do we know if there'll be a monthly option to donate as I can only see a one-off option? Hmm, I don't know. That's a really interesting idea though. Um, could definitely make it easier for some people. Um, or yeah, I don't know. We'll find that one out. Again, I'll, pa I'll pass on all your questions because um, they are all fabulous, you guys. 
um awesome Alrighty, we are going to end this off. I'm going to play you my song called Walk, which I wrote with a friend called David Arland. Um, if you um, become a member in the last couple of days, you'll notice that your name is on the credits now. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Until we go live again and I reveal my exciting news. Peace out. <laughs> my